Hello and welcome back to my channel. I love having you back here. If you're new, hi, I'm Stephanie. I'm a polyglot and a language enthusiast. And on this channel, I share tips and tricks on how to best learn languages. In this week's video, what I want to talk about is the power of stories and how you can utilize stories to learn a language. If you're interested to hear more, keep on watching. Stories are incredibly powerful. I'm sure I'm not the first person that you've heard say that. Even if we think about how we like to convey information as humans, we always rely on stories. Stories were the original way to transfer knowledge. That is what was used, especially before the invention of writing, they were so prevalent simply because the story helps people remember much better than any other medium. And truly, since ancient times, they have been used widely to convey any sort of information. If you read major mythologists and people that have worked in the power of myth and the power of human stories, such as Joseph Campbell, you know that you know, stories are something that has been used across cultures, no matter on what continent people have lived, they have always communicated in this way, because a story conveys information in a unique way. It engages your imagination, your emotions, and your interests, and it's just much more easy to remember and to learn that way. And that is the natural human condition. And so for us as a species, it's very natural to communicate with stories. And although writing was invented and the printing press, and now the internet, etc., we keep inventing so much, but yet still we prefer to communicate with stories as that is the most engaging way to do it. So even if you go, for example, in elite business schools, you will hear about the case method. And I think that that's a great way to explain this. Go to any of the top business schools in the world and you will see professors teach this way. As you might know, I did an MBA at the NYU Stern School of Business and so I'm very well familiar with the case method of teaching and it is something that I promise you any business school will use. So the case method is based on teaching business concepts in any field, truly it can be entrepreneurship, marketing, finance, you name it, using cases and cases are basically stories about businesses that actually teach you certain things right? there are certain concepts that are being thought through the power of story often those are real stories about real businesses actually uh, so they're not fiction they're just taken from your life examples about businesses and within them there are certain teachings because you see what mistakes those founders made for example or you see what they did right and in this way, different concepts of business are illustrated. And this is the preferred method of all top business schools. Why? <laughs> well, because simply it's much easier to remember that way. And not only that, but it's much easier to understand concepts when they're presented with a story. Then, you know, there are certain questions that can be addressed that, you know, respond to different aspects of the business case. You know, everybody can give their opinion what they thought of a certain business issue or not. The professor can teach the concept by using the story because in that way, not, it's not just that it sticks better, but you're also able to explain it in a much more engaging way. People find it interesting, but then also you're able to illustrate it in a way that just dry theory cannot do. And it is the absolute same thing when it comes to language learning because dry theory is basically reading grammar books, which I love, don't get me wrong, I love knowing why something is said a certain way, but many, many people hate grammar. And it's simply because it's like dry stories and you don't really see how this concept is being applied really. But when you're reading a story, you notice how the word changes in the sentence. If you, of course, you need to have some intentionality behind it, you need to be paying attention to patterns, etc. But once you do that, you notice how a word changes. And you see that in sort of the natural environment of the language, and that is an excellent way to learn grammar, to just basically read an interesting story or watch an interesting story in a movie or listen to an interesting story, whatever medium, whatever sense you choose to do it with. But in any case, you're learning those grammar patterns that way, instead of them just being conjugation tables and dry lists that are really doing nothing for you and that are turning off the part of your brain that cares about this language. And now you could care less. Now learning just doesn't happen. So that is why stories are so powerful. Same thing with vocabulary. If you see words in a context, they're much more meaningful. Words outside of context are just super difficult to learn. All you're doing, even if you use some space repetition system and you're able to learn them at the end of the day, outside of context, words are just that. They're just gibberish. You don't know how to use the word. You don't know all the different nuances. 
So within context and within story, we are able to learn unlike any other way. And not only that, but when you're learning through stories, you're also able to pick up that cultural nuance that you would otherwise miss. So if you're reading, for example, something written by an author in the original language as postural translation, you're picking up a lot of that nuance, you're learning more about the culture, you're just able to immerse yourself better in the language, and as a result, that speeds your learning. Not only that, but because stories are so interesting, you're able to learn more. Studies have shown time and time again how we learn best when we're interested in what we're learning and when there are positive emotions surrounding that learning as opposed to just not caring, like not wanting to learn, just feeling like you're forcing it. If you feel like you're forcing it, learning is likely to be very slow and painful. If you're enjoying it, it's likely to be quick and much easier. So that's what stories do when it comes to learning. They help you enjoy the process that much more and they help you learn the language much more quickly. So if you're somebody who's constantly thinking about, okay, I want to learn this language quickly, what is the fastest method? And I want to be a polyglot, so that means I need to learn a lot of languages quickly. Or any of those thoughts, you're like going on vacation and you want to just learn something quick, for example, or well, stories are your friend. They're going to be the fastest way to learn. When you're learning with that type of input and through the power of story, you're also able to have your imagination sparked. Of course, you're not just learning the language because when you are engaging with stories, you're also training your critical thinking skills, your imagination, you're kind of activating a lot of those parts of the brain which are activated when you're reading, for example, and all of those benefits you're reaping whenever you're learning true stories. Not only are you learning a new language, but you're also learning those benefits. So I feel like reading, for example, can be an extremely useful way to learn true stories simply because it just trains so many skills on so many levels and it teaches you a lot of new stuff besides the language. But when it comes to language itself, it also sparks inspiration and motivation. If you feel like you've been relying on discipline too much, for example, then stories are a great way to spark some of that motivation. Because let's be fair, yes, discipline is going to be crucial in language learning. You can't rely on motivation all of the time, but you can't rely on discipline all of the time either. So if you feel like you're lacking in the energy or motivation department or any of those things, then try out some interesting stories. This is also great because you're going to be able to learn through your passions. Learning through passion is the most effective way to learn simply because it's things we care about and so we come back to it time and time again. If you're reading about something that you couldn't care less about, for example, you know, how engines work, you might not like that, you might love it, so if you love it, just to current this example. If you don't like it, um, well then, Perhaps what's interesting to you is learning about marine animals. I don't know. Well, then in that case, of course, reading about marine animals is just going to be much more interesting for you. And it's going to spark your interest in the topic, in that language. You're going to be learning without even realizing that you're learning and you're going to be having fun and you're going to be coming back and back to that language simply because it's a story you care about. And in any case, something that's interesting is going to help you stick with it for the long run. So how do you do it? How do you learn with stories? You can use different senses. You can read a book, you can listen to a podcast, you can listen to an audiobook and read the physical one at the same time. You can, for example, immerse yourself in authentic content such as videos, TV shows, movies, etc. Uh, you can read news, of course, those are great stories because they're short pieces of information, so they're super good when you're on the go and just want to get a quick dose of language learning in. Truly anything that you want can be used as a story. I feel like a great place to learn from stories is Link. Link is a wonderful website that I've been speaking about for about a year. And so this is a great place to incorporate some more stories into your learning, especially if you feel like you've used a lot of those books on the language, for example, teachers have asked me, etc. And you feel like you want to supplement with some real world language that you can use and that you can, you know, submerge yourself into some stories to gain all of the benefits that I'm speaking about today. Well, then Link is great because it has thousands of hours of different authentic content books and podcasts and TV shows, etc. And you can create your own. You can import from Netflix, from YouTube, from different websites, and you can create your own library of content that is unique to you and that are stories that you care about. You can import anything into Link and use that as a lesson or use, for example, the Link mini stories. They're absolutely a great way to start a language or use more advanced stories within Link 
And in that way, you can truly turn anything into a lesson and any story becomes a lesson. And I feel like Link is a great way to learn through stories because you, then you can save unknown words, you can review those words, you can see them in context within the story, you can have some grammar explanations as well. But it is awesome because when it comes to, for example, a YouTube video you might want to watch, well, in Link, you can import it, you can get the transcript, you can then um, click on the words you don't know, save them for later. It just allows you to take any story and turn it into a lesson. So I definitely recommend Link if you want to learn for stories. I feel like it's a great way to do so. It simplifies a lot of the stuff. It allows you to look up things, to review things. It allows you to import anything you want. It was co-founded by a great polyglot, Steve Kaufman. So, you know, he uses it to learn languages. And that's just great in my book. It's available on web and mobile and you can track your statistics and learn that the way Steve learns, the way I learn, the way many other polyglots learn. If you're interested, I have a 35% discount code for you, which you're seeing on the screen right now, and I'm gonna pop in the video description as well. Check it out. I feel like if you want to get all of the benefits from learning through stories, learning through content, learning through engaging information, then Link is a great place to start. I have also done a detailed video that is walking you through using link in more detail and everything that it has so if you're new and you want to check that out go ahead and watch that video it's going to walk you through everything that link has to offer and how you can make the most of it in your language learning if you have any questions as always let me know in the comments please like and subscribe if you appreciate my content that helps me a lot as a creator and don't forget that i now offer coaching so if you're interested in that you can definitely DM me on Instagram and set up a coaching session with me. I'll see you next time. And until then, let me know what you think of Link, what you think of learning true stories, and if you've tried any of those. And if not, go ahead and use my 35% discount. See you next time. Bye-bye.